Hi guys, Al Smith here. Today we're going to talk about garbage statement. Uh, in a couple of the previous lessons, we talked about how to uh, start investigating SLAM and getting the game and so forth, you know, Trump. Now you have the situation where uh, your partner is open one no Trump, and you potentially have a really, really crappy hand. What do you do? Okay, just a quick review. We've done this slide before. I'm not going to go through it, but these are the criteria for opening one no Trump and the way that we divide the one no Trump hand into the minimum and the maximum. All right, let's look at Let's look, start looking at garbage state, state, uh, statement. Okay, this is generally what occurs when the situation occurs when you're going to want to consider using it. You know, partner has a good hand and open to bidding one no trump. You have a crappy hand. Zero to four high card points, no ace or king plus one. Okay, when I break king plus one, that means really four high card points. Okay, and what do you do? This is one of the, 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 the challenges in bridge. So when you have a crappy hand, it's almost better to always play in a suit contract versus one no trump. Because if your partner who opened one no trump is, is, is to declare, they in essence have to keep leaving out of their hand. You have relatively no strength to take tricks. So the, the partner's always a leading away from their honors and their values, allowing the opponents to take the tricks as cheaply as possible. So if you've got a minimal number of points, less than or equal to four, it's generally best to be playing that, uh, that hand in a suit contract rather than one down. Now, there are four classes of crappy hands, okay? And we talked about some of these before, but let me go through here. We've got, we have five, got a crappy hand, you know, that's zero to four, and uh, five plus hearts or spades. You're going to use the Jacoby transfer to transfer to the major and then pass. So you're pretty well guaranteed to have at least a seven card bid. Okay, if you've got a five plus clubs or diamonds, you can transfer to the minor using the two spade transfer. Now, what if you don't have either of those, but you've got three to four hearts and three to four spades? Well, this is where a garbage statement comes in. And there's one more that we haven't talked about, where you can have four to five clubs and four to five diamonds. And this is under the, in the dual purpose lesson. Okay, now, what, we, what we're doing here is make sure we've got the waterfront covered and how to handle crappy hands because they're just as probable as having a good hand opposite your, your, your partner's one no come open. So let's take a little bit further look into this. Okay, let's look at the classic garbage statement hand. Okay, and you've got four hands here in North Fields. So North is your partner. And your partner opens one no trump. Your partner's got nine, 13, 15 high card points. Very, very reasonable one no trump open. And lo and behold, you're sitting down here in South and you pick up this piece of garbage. Okay, you've got nine, five, four, three of spades, four hearts, the five, four, three, two. You know, it couldn't get much worse unless you really worked at it. So you've got four diamonds, four hearts four spades, and zero points. Okay, what happens if you play this hand, like if your partner bids one no trump, it goes past, and you pass? Well, if we go through here and analyze this hand, okay, they're going to leave the six of clubs. It's going to come around, they're going to take the queen, they're going to take five club tricks, then they're going to take four diamond tricks, and they're going to take one spade trick. They're going to take a total of nine tricks. And guess what? You're going to be down three. I've got down four, but that should only be down three. Because so you take the seven, eight tricks, you're going to get, uh, that's not, no, that's 10 tricks. You're going to be down four. Down four, I'm correct. Okay. Uh, which is really pretty horrible. Okay. So now let's see what happens if 
you were to play this contract in two parts. Right? If we analyze the hand now, you're going to lose a one club because you're going to be able to rough in with these nice two, three, four, five uh, hearts, these powerful hearts you've got. But you get a rough because the roughing in is almost like having a pair of aces there. Okay, you're going to lose two diamonds. Okay, you, uh, okay one heart and one to two spade tricks. So you could easily, you could possibly make this contract or actually go down one. So which would you rather have, down four or down one? Obviously, you'd rather be down just one. So you can see that playing this hand in a no trump would be disastrous, while playing it in a soup contract, you might not make it, but it's not going to be anywhere near as bad as if you play this hand in no trump. So when you have this situation, you want to avoid playing no trump to, uh, at, to the maximum degree possible. All right, so let's look at garbage things. Okay, and I kind of like the name. All right, so uh, what is the result when you use garbage things? Well, about 80% of the time, you're going to end up in at least a 4-4 four, four suit. Okay, so you're going to have eight trump. If you've got eight trump, you're going to be able to do some cross rush. You're going to be able to get some trump tricks in there. So, you know, not having all the points you need may be compensated for by having enough trump to actually make the contract. The rest of the time, yeah, some of the time you actually end up in four or five, but most of the time it's going to be four or four, and pretty much the rest of the time you're going to have four or three fit in the suit that you end up in. Okay, and 4-3 is called, it's called a moistening fit. And while it's not as good as having eight cards in it, you still have seven, which is more than what the opponents have. So that's not all that bad. Okay, now how do we initiate garbage statement? Well, we lie to our partner, we tell them we're initiating the statement. They don't know, we're not going to tell them. Okay, so we bid two clubs. Okay, and the opener is always going to think that you your, your bidding statement, regular save statement, promising eight plus high card points and looking for potentially to, to make the game. Okay, and if your partner's going to bid two diamonds with no four card major, two hearts with four hearts and maybe four spades, and two spades with four spades and two to three hearts. All right, so we can see how this works. Okay, so we, we, if they've got a four card major, they're going to bid it. If they don't have a four card major, they're going to bid two diamonds. So, uh, this wasn't all supposed to come up at once, but it did. Okay, so let's talk about the classic version of the garbage thing. In the classic version, uh, you know, when you initiate garbage thing, you're going to have four spades, four hearts, and four to five diamonds and zero to one club. Okay, so if your partner bids two diamonds, two hearts, or two spades, you don't care because you're just going to pass. Because now you know that you have at least a reasonable bid. For example, if your partner bids uh, two diamonds, you know that they don't have a four hearts or four spades, but they have probably have at least three diamonds, and you're going to end up in a seven card bid. So, now, like I said, being in a soup contract is a lot better than being in one no trump where the opponents have the majority of the points and the partner has to play everything out of his or her hand. So you can see that's really easy. Your partner bids two spades, you pass. Your partner bids two hearts, you pass. Your partner bids two diamonds, you pass. Okay. Now, there's a concept in bridge called equal level conversion. And what this means is you have at least four cards in two of the in the two highest ranking unbid suits. You're going to see this structure throughout the, the bidding system. It's used quite, quite a bit. Okay? It gets more into the advanced play, but this is something that we can use in conjunction with garbage statement. Okay, because our goal is to find a 4-3 fit. And if your partner is playing 
uh, opening one no trump and is also using open or reverses if they have a hand where they have five clubs or five uh, five clubs and four hearts and two hearts and two spades they're going to use a reverse so you really don't have to worry too much about the situation where your partner has only two cards in each one of the majors and that is of course if they're using the open or reverse okay now in this particular situation, what we're going to do is we allow us to use garbage statement, even if we don't have any diamonds. Okay, because what we're going to do now is if we, we but the structure is, is we must have four spades and we must have four hearts. Now we could actually have, oh, uh, we probably could even have uh, five spades and five hearts. Okay, but we if we had five of one of the majors and four of one of the other majors, what we're going to do is use the Jacobi transfer. But if we had five, five and were really weak, it's the same as having four, four and being really weak, except we're going to have one more trump. Okay, so we don't need to have any diamonds at all. Okay, now our part, we've got two clubs to initiate statement. And in this case, if our partner admits two hearts or two spades, we're as happy as a pig in mud. Okay, we just pass because we know that we probably we have at least an eight card fit. Now, if uh, our if the opener bids two diamonds, denying having a four card major, what we do is we bid two hearts. And what two hearts says to your partner is, hey, partner, I've got a pretty crappy hand. I'm bidding garbage statement. I've got exactly four hearts and four spades. Pick the best one you want. Pick the one that you want, and that's going to be Trump. So after you bid two hearts, if, they, if the opener likes hearts best, they're going to pass. If they like spades better, they'll bid two spades, and you're going to pass. And you're going to be in a seven card major suit contest. But that's a lot better than trying to play in one no trump. So now let's look at this third option here. We call this one the, 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 the classic extension. And in, in this particular case, we have three to four spades and three to four hearts and four diamonds. Okay, with one to three clubs. Now you'll notice here that in the in the very classic one, we say you need to have four, four, and four or five diamonds. And in this one, we need to have four spades and four hearts. Okay, in really desperate times, it requires desperate measures. So if you've got three to four spades, if you have four spades and three hearts and four diamonds. You can go ahead and use garbage statement. It's possible that you're going to end up in a three three fit because you might have four spades and three hearts. Your or your you bid two clubs. Your partner uh, says two diamonds. Now, just like up here, you're going to bid two hearts and tell your partner to pick the best major, and they may may only have three hearts. Yes, this one's a little gets a little bit hairy, but even then, the probabilities are on your side that you're going to end up in at least a seven card fit. So it's much better than trying to play a really, really crappy hand in one no trouble. All right, let's take a look at a couple of examples. I didn't have these in the handout that I sent out earlier, but I've added them and they're in the new version that you'll receive in an email later on tonight. So in this first one, your partner opened one no trump. Okay, and your opponent passed, and you look at this horrendous hand. Okay, you've got zero points, but it's the classic version. You've got four diamonds, four hearts, and four spades. Okay, so you know you don't want to make your partner play this in no trump. So you go ahead and bid two statement. You're planning on using. Uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the big garbage thing. Okay. Uh, okay. So, 
at this particular point, your partner is going to drop bid either two diamonds, two hearts, or two spades. And what you're going to do is you're going to pass. Whatever your partner bids, you're going to pass. Okay, let's look at a second example. Okay, in this one, we've got four spades and four hearts, three diamonds. We do have a shape here where we could use a garbage statement. But let's look at this. We've got four high card points. Now, we have four high card points. We're too strong to use garbage statement. And what we're going to do is pass. We're going to let our partner play in one no trump and hope that this king and this jack and having two four card suits becomes very useful to them in making a contract. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, but you've got a reasonable shot because your partner said he or she has 15 high card points. You've got 14. That means you've got at least 19. If your partner's got 16, they're split 20 20 and flip a coin as to whether you're going to make the contract or not. But since the opponents have to break the first suit, you're going to be a half a trick ahead of the game because each time anybody breaks a new suit, they give a half a trick to the opponents. Let's look at another example. We've got one no, pass. And in this one, we've got two spades, three four hearts, and three four diamonds, and three clubs. Okay, now we've got three high card points. Okay, this is a pretty crappy hand again. What do we do? Well, this is one of those hands that falls in the cracks. Okay, it's the wrong shape. We don't have enough clubs to go to use two spades. We don't have enough hearts to, 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 to transfer the hearts. We don't have the right shape to use garbage statement. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass and just let our partner swing. Okay, and say, we hope you do the best, but that's the best that we can do. You know, and this is one of the days when the bear is definitely going to chew off a leg. All right, but the good news in that hand is at least you got three points. All right, let's look at another hand. Okay, another really garbagey hand. Okay, we've got five hearts and four spades. Okay, we only have one high card points. Now, are we going to use garbage statement because we've got four and five? No, what we're going to do because we've got five hearts. Is we're going to use the Jacoby transfer and we're going to transfer the hearts. So our partner promises at least two, we're going to pass and the contract's going to be played at two hearts. Now look, we've got a couple of, uh, uh, we've got roughing values in both diamonds and clubs. So, you know, despite how ugly this hand is, we actually have a reasonable chance of making two hearts. You'll be surprised at how often you can make two hearts with this type of a crap, crappy hand, opposite your partner having a one no trump open. Okay, now, all you need is a little lock in, in terms of, of how the cards fit together. For example, if your partner's got three good hearts, you know, you may have five, five heart tricks off the top with cross roughing ability. You might even be able to take seven tricks in hearts. That would be pretty good. Let's look at this next one. All right, we've got one no. Pass. And now we've got another pretty crafty hand. We've got five clubs, four hearts, three spades, and one diamond. Now, what do we do? Well, we know our hand isn't worth anything in, in terms of playing a no trump, but we do have four hearts and three spades. Okay. Well, it may seem hard to swallow. At this particular point in junction time, it's best to initiate garbage thing because at least we have four hearts and we have three spades. So if we bid garbage statement by bidding two spades and they bid two spades, we at least have seven of them. If our partner bids two hearts, we have an eight card trick. If they bid two diamonds, hey, we definitely don't want to be in diamonds. What we're going to do then is bid two hearts. And if our partner is three, three in the majors, they're going to pass the two hearts bid, and we're going to have a seven card bid in the hearts. Now, if you actually have to do this, it's safe to do it with four hearts and three spades because you're going to be bidding two hearts second if your partner bids two diamonds. Then they're going to pass the bid three, three in the majors. 
and we're going to recognize this shift. Okay, so uh, let's look at one more example here, and we kind of discuss this a little bit. In this one, we've got just two high card points and four length points, so we don't have enough to tell our partner about this wonderful shape we have. We've got five, five in the minors, but we can use garbage statement here, and it's just as good as being four four, but a little bit better because we've got five cards in each one of them. So in this case, if the opener bids too hard to choose spades, we're just going to smile and pass. Now we're guaranteed to have at least a seven card bid and maybe an eight or nine card bid. So this is looking better all the time. Pretty ugly hand, but we're going to be pretty happy if our partner opens one up top. Okay, if they bid two diamonds, what we're going to do is going to use the same approach that we used over here. We're going to bid, uh, we didn't have that one up here. We're going to bid two clubs initiating stamen. And if they bid two diamonds, we're going to be too, bid two hearts to say, hey, partner, pick your best suit. Okay, and that's going to be the contract. Now, Here's the matrix that's been modified now to show you where the garbage statement fits in. So if we've got five, five, and five, five hearts or spades and we're really weak, we can use garbage statement. Now notice, we can also use garbage statement here when we've got four to seven points because where can we give our partner the choice? Okay, and there's actually some more advanced things that you can do there, but I decided not to put those in the lesson. And well, we've got four hearts and four spades. Okay, now uh, that concludes the basic presentation as it relates to uh, the uh, to garbage thing. Now, I wanted to check to see if you had any questions before we went on. So if you've got any questions, raise your hand, and if not, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will move into the uh, shark bridge portion of this so you can actually practice using this convention. I'm trying to get everything set up. Uh, so give me a second. And hey, I hope everybody's over here on shark bridge now. Okay, uh, what we're going to do is have an extremely painful experience. What we're going to do is see how garbage damon works uh, when our partner opens one no trump, and we don't have very much. So what we're going to do is get started. We're going to look at this particular, the first hand here, and our partner, uh, our great partner, opens one no trump and pass and comes around to us. And what do we have? We have four spades and four hearts. Okay, and no points. So our partner's got 15 to 17. So our hope is, and we also have four diamonds. So we kind of cut kind of the classic in that we have four diamonds, four hearts, and four spades. Okay, and we know that we don't want to play in no trump. And I'm going to prove that to you in the course of this exercise. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bid two clubs so that we can initiate garbage thing and it's going to go pass and our partner is going to bid two spades and we're going to be elated and we're going to pass okay so we can see that the our partner bid two spades we're very happy with that because we've got an eight card club suit fit so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on the robots and let them play and we're going to see what we can do well, okay, they let the ace of clubs. We've got a singleton club, so we're going to be able to rush some clubs. Yes. Okay, so let's see. Now they've got another club. We're going to rough that. Okay. So let's see what we can do. We're in spades. We had eight spades. We're going to want to draw the trump if we can. And if we can, we'd like to set up the hearts and maybe the king of diamonds. So what we're going to do, instead of leaving the spades right now, because we've got eight and we've got eight hearts also, 
No, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and leave the spade. We're going to hope that West has the ace. Okay. And lo and behold, we think West does have the ace. So what we're going to do now is the best we can probably hope for is the hearts are split 3-2. So we're going to go ahead and leave the hearts, the ace and the king. And hopefully they both have two. And they do. All right. So what we've got eight, we've got nine, 10, 11, 12. So what we can do is go ahead and we're going to set up that last heart. Okay. And hope that we can actually make that heart good. Now they leave the 10 of diamonds. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to play low. Didn't do anything. Was hoping that they might be able to have to go up with the jack or the queen or something. So now we really don't have a choice. The only hope we have of, of taking a diamond trick is by playing the king. Okay, we don't have, we're not real encouraged. No, we're not encouraged at all. Here comes the ace, and they took that. Okay, now they continue with the diamonds. All right, now what are they going to do? Okay, and they continue with another diamond, which is fine with us because we get to rock. Okay, now we do have the hearts left, but we don't want to leave the king of spades or the eight of spades because we know there's an ace out, and I think there's also the jack out. So we're going to leave the heart. We're going to let them rock. And he rocked over here. And what we're going to, and that's great because they're going to have to lead out of this hand. And we're going to rock with the five, and they're going to jump up with the jack, and we get our king. Okay, and now we're going to lose the last spade because they've got the, the ace left. Okay, so what we end up doing is going down two tricks. And you go, well, how darn, we didn't make the contract. That garbage statement didn't work very well. Okay, now to prove something to you, I'm going to prove to you how well the garbage statement actually worked. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to replay this hand. And we're going to have uh, North open the hand. And let's go ahead and go back to normal rules. Okay, so we're going to let North open the hand again with one no trump. And we're going to go past. And this time, we're going to pass. Just see what happens. And we're going to let the robots go on. Now you're going to play the hand. We're going to play the hand. Okay, in no trump versus in we're going to play no trump instead of in two spades. Okay, so let's see what happens. They led the ace of clubs. All right, we took the ace and they're continuing. We already we're starting to have to throw stuff away here. Let's see. Well, we don't have to really worry what we're throwing away here. We can throw away spades. We've got eight of them. Okay, we're, you know, we're probably going to see this going to be pretty now. North, declare you and me. We're going to get squeezed immediately. What are we going to throw away? Well, we've got to keep guarding that king of diamonds. Okay, we've got the ace king. We need to, so let's throw away a heart. Okay. And those devils are leading another one. Let's throw away a heart here because that has no value to us. So we possibly could get the ace, the, 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 the queen jack. So let's throw away another spade and see what happens. All right. Oh no, they let another stupid. Okay, so what now? All right, let's we got the, let's throw away the ten of hearts. Here comes the heart. All right. So we lead the heart. Now see what they did. They, we are in the lead. We have to lead something. So we can set up a trick by leading the king of spades. We're going to do that. Okay. And hope that somehow we can end up getting a, another spade trick. And now they lead another heart. Okay. All right. So we might as well take our spade trick or else we're probably never going to get it. 
And we're going to try to put them in the lead with spades so that we can possibly get a diamond trick. Oh no, we've got another heart. And he leads the diamond. All right. All right. Chance is he led away from the king. He's got the ace queen. He led away from it, hoping that he could fool us. Nope. Okay. When we played this in two spades, we went down two. When we let our partner play it in one no trump, we went down four. So you can see that the value of playing it in a suit contract when your partner opens one no trump and you have a very weak hand. Let's go to the second example and look at this particular one. Again, our partner opens one no trump and pass. All right. And we again have four hearts and four spades, but we don't have the four diamonds this time. So this is what we described earlier as the equal level conversion type of situation where we don't need to have four diamonds in order to initiate garbage statement. We know from that last example, well, let's take a look at this. Well, we actually have four hearts, four spades, but we've got five points. Our partner has got 15. That's 20. So even though we've got the four hearts and four spades, we don't want to bid garbage stamen because the one no trump contract is going to be the better contract. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pass. And the contract gets passed out. Now let's see how it gets played. All right. So they led the ten of diamonds. Let's see who plays now. I do. Okay, so we're going to play the king of diamonds. And what we're going to do is now we're going to finesse west for the king of spades. Because that's a possibility for getting a trick and potentially setting up the spades. So we play the queen, and lo and behold, the spades work. Now we go, well, we don't want to lead any of these suits because we have to open the suits up. So what we want to try to do is develop the spades by assuming that they started out with 3-3. Three, three. So we're going to leave this spade again. Okay, and they both follow. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we know they're 3-2 and we can go ahead and leave the spade and we actually have created an entry into the dummy. Miracles of miracles. Okay, now I'm going to leave the diamond. Okay, and uh, okay. So let's duck that one and see if we can disrupt their communication. Okay, to lead it again. Okay, now these hearts aren't going to be of any value. We can't lead them because they have the king ace. So we're going to lead the spade. We're going to take our spade. So we've got another trick there. So what we're going to try to do now is finesse west for the ace of clubs and lo and behold he doesn't have it but our queen is now good so we can throw away the five of clubs we've got to keep that queen of clubs and hopefully it'll be worth a trick oh no they keep leading we've got to throw away the seven of clubs because they might have the ace king aha they actually had to give us a club trick isn't that cool Okay, and now we lead the hearts. They got the East King of Hearts left. Okay, and they're going to take those two tricks. So actually, they didn't get the Ace, they had played on the Nine of Clubs. So we're only down one. That's really great. Now, since I've got a couple of extra minutes, I'm going to come back. I, and, you know, that's that's a good result. We had, you know, when they've got 20 points, we've got 20 points. Uh, the odds are that we're probably going to make the contract because they have to make the opening lead, giving us a half trick. But in this situation, it just didn't work out. Okay, but the right bid on this one was to pass because we had five high card points. Now, 
if we had good uh, uh, garbage statement, we would end up having an eight card fit in space. All right. Now, if you actually go through and analyze and play and so forth, instead of going down one, we're going to go down two. And why are we going to go down two? Is because the contract is one level higher. Instead of being needing to take seven tricks at one no trump, we need to take eight tricks at two spades. So let's go to hand number three. Okay. In hand number three, we've got uh let's see is this hand number three yeah i think this is hand number three no this is not hand number three no or is it hand number three i can't tell okay uh you know this is hand number two we've got to go to hand number three okay now we're in hand no nope, we're not in hand number three why aren't we going to hand number three okay uh Okay, let's see. Uh, two. Let's go to play. Let's go to hand number three. Okay, uh, let's stop play. Go to hand number three. Uh, that's not working. So, what we're going to do is we're going to reload the deals. We're going to come back here and we're going to go to. Why aren't they there? Okay, uh, we're going to go back, and I don't know why they all disappear. All right, so load deals. Uh, back. I'm going to go to hand number back. Garbage payment. We're going to load those, um, upload the deal set. Okay. We're going to go to the teacher's table. We're going to go there. Okay, there we go. We got the hand number three, I think. Okay, uh, why aren't they showing up? Okay, uh, let's go to show all cards. Okay, and let's come back. We did get there finally. So let's apply the bridge rules. And in this particular situation, our partner opened one no trump and pass, and it was our turn to bid. Okay, this again is a classic situation. Okay, we have five diamonds, four hearts, and four spades. Absolutely no points again. So it's pretty dismal. And we can see when we don't have any points, it high, the probability is very low that we're going to be able to make the contract. Okay, so uh, in this particular situation, uh, we're going to go ahead and bid two clubs, initiate garbage statement, pass. Our partner is going to bid two diamonds because they do not have a four card major. And because we've got the, the classic of five, four, four, we're just going to pass. We're happy to be in a suit contract. All right, uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to let uh, us sit north and go ahead and let the robots loose so we can play this particular contract. So they leave the jack of hearts. And we go, okay, we've got four. There's a possibility for getting a heart trick if they split four. Three, three, three. So we're going to play low. We can't beat it and take the ace. And it led to seven of clubs. And there we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and play that queen. Now, these diamonds aren't going to take any tricks. And these spades aren't. These spades might take some tricks. So, what we can do is going to go like this. Okay. What's uh, the contract? We're playing in. Two diamonds. So we trump that. There we go. Now I remember what we're doing. All right. So we're going to finesse the spades. We're actually going to take a double finesse because we need tricks desperately. And oh, wow, look at that. It held. So we know the jack king is in West's hand. 
All right, so what we're going to do now is since we drove out the ace of clubs, we're going to, to cash that king. And then we're going to try to trump another club. Oh, good. They didn't rough over rough me. Then we're going to try to take that spade finesse again. And lo and behold, it works. Now we go, well, what do we do now? Well, we better cash out ace of spades. Hope they've got three. Oh, it doesn't work. They've got only two, but that was our chance to make sure we get it before they could throw one away. Now they lead a diamond. Okay. And we're going to overtake that. And we're going to lead another club. And we're going to use that eight and see if we can drive out a higher one. We did. Now let's see what happens. Oh, dear. They kept count of the hand. They led the diamonds. We don't have any more. And they're going to continue now to just pummel us. Okay, we ended up going down two for a minus 100. That's not terrible. Okay, could have we done better if we were in one no trump, just playing one no trump? Let's, let's see what happens. We'll go back and, and play this one again real quickly. And our partner is going to open one no trump. Let's go back and, and, and apply the, the, the normal bridge rules. And our partner plays one no trump. Oh, we do, pass, pass, pass. Okay, and let's see what happens. Let's run the robots again. Okay, and they lead a club. Okay, now we have to kind of figure out what's going on. Now. So we figure you've got a bunch of clubs over there. So, well, longest suit is diamond, but we have absolutely no way to get back to them. So it really doesn't matter uh, terribly much what we do with the, the diamonds or the hearts. So let's just throw away a diamond. Okay, so we end up taking a club. Okay, now there's a possibility that we could create a fourth heart trick, but we see we have to lead away from all of our stuff. And we lead a diamond. And we're going to try to disrupt their communication. And so we're going to lead another heart. What we're trying to do is make them lead to us, lead to our ace, queen, ten, lead to our king. Okay. Uh, all right. He led the ten, so we're going to figure he's got some more. Okay. That's not looking good. Led the three of clubs. Let's go ahead and play the five. There's the oh, This is terrible. Well, now we have to lead away from what we've got. We had to lead the ace. They didn't cooperate by leading the, the, the ten. What we're going to do is play the ten of spades. Jack came out, and fortunately, they threw something. Oh, there's the there's the king. Maybe they no. Nope. Okay. So instead of going down two in a suit contract, we went down three at, at one no trump. So you can see what the advantage is of playing in a suit contract versus letting your poor partner play in one no trump when you don't have any points. Let's go to hand four and look at this one. Okay, and we've got to go back and make uh, us south again. Our partner again opens up one no trump and pass. Okay, so what are we going to do here? We know from the past experience of the past couple of hands, it's better to be in a suit contract 
than it is to be in one no Trump. And we don't have anything, especially if there's the chance that our partner might have a fit with us. So we had an eight card fit or better, or at worst case, a seven card fit. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to use garbage statement. And it's going to go past, and our partner then is going to bid two spades. And again, we're pretty tickled because we've got four spades. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and let the robots take off and see what they're going to do. Okay, now let's do a little bit of planning here. If every little thing worked perfectly, we could finesse the queen, king, queen, king, queen, jack of spades if we could ever get to this hand which is highly improbable. So finessing is pretty much out. We can rough, but, you know, and, and perhaps do what this call a dummy reversal and get an end, an end get a trick in spade. So let's come back around and see what happens. We're going to go ahead and we're going to lead the diamonds because we don't want to lead away from our values. And we're going to see what they lead. So they continue the diamonds, and we get one of our trump tricks. Okay, uh, and because we don't, you know, we could have not gotten those if the jack came in the wrong place. So we're not going to lead the clubs right yet. We're going to lead the hearts. Okay, because we've got to lose them anyways, and we want them to break the clubs so that we might possibly get two club tricks. So they're obliging by. By, by leading the hearts. <clears throat> and they led three. Now we're out. And hey, the heart split for three, three, three. Now, all right, look at that. Our, our, our opponent had to lead clubs that are leading to our king, queen. All right, now the question is what do we do? Well, that's Two Trump have been played. That's six, seven, eight, nine. So what we're going to do is we're going to hope. We're going to hope against hope that they're split. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and lead the pen. Okay. Oh, near. Okay. So they led that spade. We've got the last spade. Okay, so what we're going to do is come around here and we're going to trump that. And we're still hoping that West has got two clubs and he's got the ace. So we're going to leave that again and see what happens. We're going to play that king. Ah, darn. Okay, so they take the tricks. Okay, and again, we're down three this time. But I guarantee you that if you played this hand in one no trump, versus two spades is going to be down four or five. You can see how terrible it is to actually have to play one no trump when your partner has no points. So we're going to look at hand number five. Okay, and we've got to go back and uh, let's make sure we've got everybody at the right table. We've got we're, and we're at one, one, one south. Okay, so uh, our partner, again, bids one no trump, pass, and it comes back around to us. We've got four hearts and four spades again. We have a little bit of roughing power. This is a no-brainer. We're going to have, go ahead and use garbage statement. I won't guarantee how well it's going to work, but we're going to use garbage statement. We bid two clubs, and our partner then bids two hearts. Okay, and we go, okay, at least we've got seven hearts between us. Okay, it gets passed out. So we can see the two hands. All right, we're going to turn on the robots and we're going to see how the player does with this particular hand. All right, he still has, he has the ability to rough the diamond if he can, okay, that would actually be helpful since we have some really ugly hearts. But we have the capability of uh, maybe getting us a couple of spade tricks and maybe a couple of club tricks. So let's go ahead and take that diamond and then let's leave the tent back and see if we can get a rough in here. 
but we need their help. Okay, they're not helping. Okay, now we might be able to get a rough of the clubs. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to try to preserve our king of clubs. Uh, since East led it, we're going to assume we have something. We we'll try to create entry to the dummy so that we can actually take a spade from this. So that, uh-oh, they are going to be trouble. These guys are getting evil. There they come. All right, now we just have to wonder what the split is on the, on the heart split, four, three, three, three. Well, or does East have, ah, they're split four, three, three, three. So at least we have the six of, sp the six of hearts. Okay, well, maybe our seven of diamonds will win. No, not a chance in, 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 in hockey stick. Okay, let's get rid of that. And let's see what he leads again. He's probably going to leave another die. All right, so. Hmm. All right. We know the Ace of Clubs is out, so we've got to guard that king. Okay, so we're going to trump this one, and then we're going to lead a low spade. And we're planning on taking a finesse. And lo and behold, it works. So we're all the way up to four tricks. We've got five tricks now. Okay, now all we can do is leave. And we know that the ace nine is behind us, so we might get rid of those two tricks. Okay, this time we're down three. However, if we played that, let, let this get played in no trump, we're probably going to be down four or five. All right, let's go to the last hand in here. Okay, and it is truly the ugliest hand that I could possibly devise. Okay, on this hand, our partner bids one, uh, one no trump. And it goes past. And now what do we do? We know our partner doesn't have uh, a five-card major because they opened one no trump. They could have a four-card major, but we have absolutely no roughing ability. Okay, so what do we do? Is it better to play this hand in a suit contract? Or is it better to play it in no time? Okay, this is a tough call. So what we're going to do is we're going to be a little adventurous. And we're going to bid two clubs. And they're going to go past. And what our partner is going to do is bid two spades and pass. And it's going to get, we're going to pass it out. At least we've got a seven card trick. Let's see what happens. We're going to play this hand both ways. Okay, at least we've got a little bit of roughing power over there. All right, so it's again a truly ugly hand, pretty much the same hand, and they've all been ugly. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up a rough and make them lead to us. Okay, so they led the ace of clubs. Isn't that nice? Wonder why they did that. We must have a whole slew of clubs that are planning on make, doing some roughing. Okay, so that's eight clubs, nine, ten. Betsy's got three clubs left. Okay, now the question is, what do we want to do? Betsy, he's got the ace, nine of clubs behind us. Okay, so we don't really, actually, we don't care if he leads clubs again. Okay, but we don't want to lead clubs. And we really don't want to lead spades right now either. So what we're going to do is lead the three hearts. Okay, and it doesn't matter which one we play. At least we've got uh, West in the lead, and he's going to take a bunch of hearts. So let's see what's going on now. What are they going to do now? They lead another club. All right. Uh, that's not necessarily good. He's going to rough that. He roughs it low. All right. Now he's going to lead the king of diamonds. So what are we going to play? Okay. We're going to, we believe that uh, East 
has another diamond. So we're going to count well. All right, now there's been uh, a total of two trumps played. We've got six, that's eight. Now, our only hope is that we can draw some trumps. Okay, the, the, the jack fell. Okay, now, so one of our trump is going to become good. So we're going to leave the 10. Okay, there's the king. Our queen is going to be good. Hopefully they don't have a club to lead back. Okay, we're going to throw away that club. Oh, darn. Now we're going to get the last trick. Okay, but we're down three. That's pretty bad, right? Well, let's see what happens real quickly if we play this in no trump. Because you're going, well, that's pretty terrible. That garbage statement didn't work at all. Okay, so it comes back here. Let's go into the, uh, the, the, and we'll just leave all the hands exposed. We go one no trump, pass, 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 pass. And we'll turn on the, the, the we'll start play and, 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 and turn on the robots. And let's see what happens if we let this go in. One no trump. Remember, we were down three. That was bad. Okay, so they lead a heart. Okay, things are not looking good already. Okay, they let another heart. They've got two tricks. And I'll bet you they leave another heart. Oh, they do. Oh, my goodness. Now, what are we going to do? Well, it's easy for Alan South. He's got a bunch of crap, so he's going to throw away a club. Okay, now, what the heck? Is North going to throw away? Well, let's throw away a spin. That's where we've got, uh, we've still got those three good cards there. Now they leave a diamond. Okay. And we, we try to disrupt them. We try to disrupt the communication by not taking that ace. And they are persistent, very persistent. We can take that. Now we've got to either lead a club or a spade. So we decided to leave the king of clubs to promote our queen. And lo and behold, they jump on that. And now, this evil east leads another diamond. Well, he didn't leave another diamond. He led a club. wonder why he did that. But he did. Okay, and we, take, we have to take the queen. Okay, now, what do we do now? We can lead a club. We know that we're, that's going to be a loser. Okay, we can try to put throw them in. We'll take the ace of spades. And we'll see if we can accidentally get the, the spades to work. And lo and behold, now they continue to take the diamond. Really bad news. Okay, so let's see how this all works out and see what the ultimate score is. Because before we were down three. In one no trump, we actually turn out being down four. So even by using garbage payment with this hand at the end, we did better than letting our partner play one no trump uh, without any support. Now, things work out a lot better with uh, with garbage statement in a lot of situations. You have a couple more points. It's still worthwhile fusing. All right. So that concludes uh, the, uh, the, the lesson for today. I hope everybody has a, a, a great day. And... I think we can come back to and, and that you all stay safe and have fun. Take care now. We're going to turn off stop share and then we're going to end the webinar.